All right, welcome to day two. There's two workouts for this week. Hopefully you're here because you did day one already. And uh, I invite you to just do two workouts this week. I mean, even just one, even if you did one, that's great. If you just do one, but if you do two, that's fantastic. One add a third one in, even better. Just make sure that you space them out a day on, take a day off, then another day for a different workout, take a day off, and then another day on. So ideally, if you didn't want to work out on the weekends, that would be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're working out your whole body, so it is good to take one day off so that you allow it to recover a little bit, okay? So the basic pattern for our first day, we're gonna follow the basic pattern in day two here. We're gonna do different exercises, okay? In day one, we did a squatting pattern, which we offered alternate exercises for if that didn't work for your joints. We offered a horizontal pushing pattern and a horizontal pulling pattern, okay? We're going to do a lunging pattern because not only do we squat to pick things up or to get in and out of chairs, we lunge when we walk and we lunge when we go up and down stairs. So there's very good reason for doing these exercises, okay? And we're gonna do, instead of a horizontal pushing and pulling pattern, we're gonna do a vertical. So a vertical push and a vertical pull. Now, if you have a band that you can hook on something, like you have a door attachment or something, that's even better, but you don't need the band to be able to do this one well, okay? So, I'm gonna start with a lunge. What does a lunge look like? Well, a lunge is just an elongated step. Like I suggested, walking was lunging, okay? That's a very shallow lunge. But a full-length lunge looks like this, where you step out, your knee comes down almost to the ground, and then you step back, okay? So I like doing alternating lunges like this. I don't like doing on the same side because it tends to exhaust both sides, and then when I get to the next side, I can't give it the same amount of effort that I did the first side, okay? So this is a lunge. What am I doing? I'm keeping my back straight, my core tight, staying on the heel of the front foot, coming up on the toe of the back foot, driving my legs straight down. Notice my body isn't moving forward or backwards by the time I'm at this position. I just go down and up, okay? So this is a lunge. It's very hard to do because my feet are so close. It's very unstable, okay? So if you don't have a good base of stability, you may not want to lunge at all. You may want to go back to squatting, okay? Where I'm staying on my heels, my toes are pointed out at uh, 15 degrees or so. I am bending my knees and my hips at the same time. I'm straightening them at the same time. I'm keeping my back nice and straight, my core tight. And if I can't go down all the way, I'm just going down part of the way, okay? So if, if that, if lunging or squatting is bothering my knees or hips, not a problem. I just do a good morning where I don't bend my knees. I just bend at the hips if my hips can handle it, my lower back can handle it. And Keep my chest out and my core tight, okay? But I'm gonna start by trying to lunge and I'm gonna graduate it, okay? Full lunge if you can do it, like I said, as the knee comes down to the ground, taps it very lightly, and then you stand back up. But that may be too much, maybe too unstable, or it again may hurt your joints. Just do a partial lunge, come down just a bit. Not a problem, okay? No shame in this. It's what your body can handle. I do this with a lot of my clients. And we work slowly to getting lower and lower and lower, okay? So you breathe in, out, in, out. But again, maybe that's too much. Maybe even a partial lunge is too unstable or it hurts your joints, not a problem. Like I said, try a squat, even a partial squat, or a good morning, okay? Or, as I showed you in the first uh, day, you can do a donkey kick against the wall. Squeeze your butt. You can do it with your knee bent if your knee can handle it, or you can do it with your legs straight, okay? If it's still too much on your knee. Some people have some severely damaged knees. No shame in that, it just is what it is. And they can't bend their knees even on an exercise like this. Not a problem, don't do it, okay? So you've got options. You've got a full lunge, okay? Or a partial lunge. If that's too much, try a squat at the height, or the depth, rather, that works for you. If that doesn't work, your knees are still hurting, your hips are hurting, whatever, try the good morning. If that doesn't work, do the donkey kick, okay? Lots of options, but try the lunge if you can. Okay, now, 
a vertical push. They call this a shoulder press. You can do it standing, you can do it sitting, whatever's more stable for you. I've got my fake homemade dumbbells here, bottles of water. I'm just gonna press them up over my head and bring them together, okay? Breathe in, out, in, out. Full range of motion, down nice and low, unless your shoulders are bothering you, okay? If your shoulders are bothering you, come down only to here so that your arms don't go down lower than 90 degrees and you can watch yourself in a mirror. This is why they have gym mirrors, by the way, to look for this sort of thing, okay? And if that still hurts, turn the bottles, or the dumbbells, facing each other, okay? That tends to rotate your shoulders forward. It's in more of a normal position and it's also not challenging your lats quite as much, which may be tight, the big back muscles, okay? Okay, so you can do this sitting or standing up. If this is too much, using weights of any kind, not a problem. Just use your fists. You'll find that if you go long enough with using just your fists, your shoulders are gonna tire because they're tiny little muscles, okay? But again, watch for shoulder pain. We want healthy shoulders, okay? If your shoulders are bothering you, even when you're doing a pressing motion like this, no problem. I'm gonna invite you just to raise them up to the sides like this with no weights. That may bother you, okay? So then try doing a rotation, an external rotation like this. Okay, with your elbows up, you're just rotating around your upper arms. You squeeze the shoulder blades at the top. If that bothers you, try an external rotation like this, okay? Just bring your elbows into your body and rotate out. I'm willing to bet one of these is gonna work for you, okay? And they all work your shoulders. This one, not quite as much as it would if you were pulling against the cable or lying on your side, but you're still moving the muscle through the range of motion, so don't be afraid to do it. Now the third one, you're gonna imagine that you're reaching over your head and you're grabbing onto a band and you're pulling it down. So what you're not doing is pulling your elbows in front of you. You're pulling your elbows out wide and down to your sides, okay? Breathe in, out. Okay, so it's kind of like the shoulder press, except you're mentally focusing on pulling down and squeezing down here versus pushing up and squeezing up here. Okay, that's the difference. This is a push up and squeeze and hold for a second. Whereas you're pulling down and your elbows are coming right into your side, squeezing and then letting go, squeezing and then letting go. And ideally, if you had a band, not even ideally, but if you had a band and you could hook it in a door or in some attachment on your ceiling or something that you could pull against, so much the better, okay? All right, we are going to do each of these exercises three times in sets of three, so in circuits of three, for one minute each, and we're gonna rest for two minutes in between sets, okay? So I'm gonna set my timer here, and I'm gonna take you through, during the minute, all the different options. I'm gonna remind you of all the different options that you can do, okay? So let's start with the lunges, here we go. Okay, I'm doing a full lunge here. I've got pretty good stability, so I could do these, no problem, but you may find, oh, this is really wobbly, it's not working. Okay, just do a half lunge, okay? Or your knees or hips are hurting, that's okay. Just do a half lunge, no problem, okay? There's one more variation I forgot to show you, but I will bring in, it's called a step up, okay? So let's say even that's too much, great. Some of you have something that you can step on this is an actual stepper, it's just a piece of wood or something, even a stair in your home. Step up. Step up with the other foot. Just try and use the leg that's up here to launch yourself. Don't launch with the back leg, okay? This might be easier on your knees and you might find it more stable. To make it more challenging, you can just make the thing you're stepping up on higher and higher, okay? Like I said, that might not work, so you might just have to do half squats, okay? Or, the uh, donkey kicks, okay, great. So that's the one minute there. So I'm gonna hit start again, and we're gonna go into the shoulder press. I'm not even gonna use my weights. I'm just gonna press up over my head, squeeze, and come down. Try, don't press forward. The tendency might be to press forward because your lats might be tight. But press up over your head, okay? And keep your back nice and straight. In the chair, don't lean back in the chair like this to try and get it up over your head because now it's becoming an inclined chest press. You're starting to use your chest too much. You want the shoulders, okay? Elbows are outside to the side of the body. Unless your shoulders are hurting, remember, 
Then you can turn your hands facing each other, okay? But again, you know, this might, um, maybe my shoulders are hurting me when I'm doing this, not a problem. Just try doing side delt raises like this. Yeah, there's still clicking and pain going on, that's okay. Try an external rotation like this. Uh, maybe it's still happening there. Try this, okay? Just at the end, squeeze. Pull out and squeeze on each of these. Squeeze, squeeze at the top, squeeze at the top. And there we go, we're into the final exercise. Okay? We're pulling down. Pull those elbows right into your body. Feel your shoulder blades squeeze together at the bottom. Now, a variation I didn't show you, but it may be that, you know, because you're still pressing over your head, maybe my shoulders are hurting, right? Just start out from the sides here. Pull down, okay? Even with your elbows like this, okay? As you pull in, squeeze and pull your shoulders down, your shoulder blades together. Up, squeeze. Up, pull down and squeeze. If you can do the big pull, so much the better. But not if your shoulders are hurting, okay? Those elbows in nice and tight. Squeeze at the bottom. Okay, remember it's at the bottom of the motion that you want to feel it here. Whereas in the shoulder press, it's at the top of the motion. Okay, there we go. Set's done. I'm going to set to two minutes, and we're going to rest for two minutes. And during this two minutes, I want you to rest. Okay. During the exercises, I don't want you pushing yourself so hard that you can't talk. You may be hitched in your breathing while you're talking. That's okay. But don't push yourself so that you can't talk, okay? Ideally, your heart rate really shouldn't go much over 160 beats a minute, I'm going to say. Um, so pay close attention to that if you have like a watch that tracks that. If not, you can find your pulse in your carotid artery. You have a timer, you set it for 10 seconds. You see how many beats. You feel in 10 seconds, you multiply it by six, and that's your heart rate, okay? So when you stop doing a set, really shouldn't be much more than 155, 160 beats a minute. And when you get back in, after the two minutes, you should be able to breathe so that you're talking pretty much uh, with, a, with a flow without having your, your talking being hitched by your breath, okay? So if you can't do that then reduce the amount of time that you're 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 going for or choose an easier exercise out of the options i've given you or um, uh, if you're using weight use less weight whatever okay just make it easier remember you're competing against yourself nobody else doesn't matter you know you're going to see posts in the group about oh you know I, I was able to go for this long with this weight on this exercise you may think oh, i wasn't able to do that that's crappy, and then you, you try to, to catch up to where they're at instead of move just a bit beyond where you're at the next time. Don't do that, okay? This is about you doing better each time, just a bit better, without hurting yourself. I see a lot of people do these group exercise things, and they're competing with everybody else, and they end up really hurting themselves, okay? Especially watch for your knees and your shoulders, okay? If they're causing you pain, that's telling you something. You want to pay good attention to that. Okay, ready to go again. That's two minutes. Okay, if you need more time, pause the video now. Okay, and wait until again you're breathing normally again. If not, join me right now. Here we go. Lunges. Okay, right. And by the way, I can hold on to dumbbells. If this is too easy for me, I can easily hold on to my makeshift dumbbells while I'm doing this, right? Or heavier dumbbells, whatever. I may want to use weight, but only do partial lunges. Not a problem, okay? Maybe that's still too unstable. I'm not feeling right about it. That's okay. Let's you know, bring the stepper into the game here, and let's step up. Okay? Alternating legs. It's easiest when you're doing a circuit like this, I think. Remember, I'm launching with the top leg. I'm staying on the heel of the top foot, okay? And... If none of those work, great. We'll do partial squats, or we'll do the good mornings, okay? Or we'll do the donkey kicks. All right. Okay, we're just about there. On to the next exercise. Here we go. And sorry, I just turned my timer off. 
It's a good stall, Mike. Great. Okay. Shoulder press. Remember, I can do these standing up. Standing up is a little less stable than sitting down, more of a challenge. Okay. Remember, it's the top of this movement. I'm really pushing. I'm reaching for the sky at the top. Reaching for the sky. Really contracting the shoulder muscles. Remember though, oh, that might be too painful, so just raise the arms to the side. Maybe that's too much. Just shorten the lever by bending your arms like this. Okay, maybe that works, maybe it doesn't. If that's still kind of like, nah, nah, it's not liking that, Mike. Great, do external rotations, right? Or external rotations like this against your body, okay? You're moving the muscle through the range of motion, and at the end, in each case, squeeze. Squeeze, 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 okay? All of them, really squeeze good at the end. Okay, great. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna reset it and we're gonna do now the pull down. Pulling the elbows in nice and tight. Down here is where I'm squeezing. Right? So I'm just going to start here rather than up top. You know, I don't want to hurt my shoulders. <sighs> pull in. And as I pull in, really pull my shoulder blades together and down. And down. That still may be too much. You know, so shorten the lever. <sighs> pull in, squeeze against my body. For those of you who are able to do the full pull, I'll come back and join you. Set number two. Two thirds of the way there. Okay, I'm going to set the timer for a two minute rest and then off we go for our last set. Hope you're feeling okay now. Remember, we're always checking to see where are we feeling it. Am I feeling it in my muscles, like my quadriceps, my glutes, my shoulders? Okay, the muscles, not the joint, the muscles, right? My chest, maybe, my lats. Am I feeling it there or am I feeling it in the joints? Like, is there something clicking and paining? Okay, clicking's fine, by the way. I talked to my physiotherapist about this. I love it. She said, I don't care if it's clicking. I care if it starts hurting, okay? Same with the knees. You may hear a lot of, feel a lot of crunching going on in the knees. That's okay, as long as it doesn't become pain, right? If it concerns you, maybe you should get it assessed. But if it's not painful, so I'll be honest with you, my knees crunch and crackle. They have for years, over 10 years now, since I've been lifting weights. And I've never struggled with, with knee pain. Um, so... Um, that, that's not entirely true, but the knee pain I was struggling with had uh, to do with the fact that my glutes weren't working. And a personal trainer friend of mine, Igor Klebanov, helped me identify that. As soon as I strengthened my glutes and got them, not even strengthened, got them firing again, the knee pain went away. So it wasn't related to anything other than a muscle weakness um, that was causing an imbalance around my kneecap when I was working my legs. Anyhow, long story short, um, the goal is to always be checking how do my joints feel, okay? And how's my breathing? Like, am I still really, really not able to breathe? Is it painful? Does this feel like it's too much? Then feel free to do less than a minute each set, okay? Do half a minute. Do 45 seconds for each exercise. And choose an easier version of the exercise, whatever it takes, okay? But remember, be gentle on you. You're just competing against you. I'm going to be like a broken record on this, but again, in groups I see people trying to catch up to other people when really what you want to do is just try and better yourself a little bit each time. Okay, there it is. There's our timer. So this is going to bring us into the very last exercise. Set, go, lunging. Okay. Breathe in, out. How to make this harder? You go faster or you go lower. Me. I can go all the way down, so if I wanted to make it harder, then I would want to try and go quicker. Yeah, I'm trying to get my heart rate up really switch fast, okay? But only go at a pace where you feel stable, where you're not feeling wobbly, okay? And again, eh, maybe you can only do half lunges, not a problem, okay? If it's too wobbly otherwise or it hurts your joints, not a problem. Go to the step ups if that's too much, okay? 
Stay on the heels, remember? Okay, but yeah, maybe instability and bending my knees is not good, so I'll try a more stable platform, which is a squat, and maybe just go halfway. Well, that's okay, or, or not, right? So again, we can do the good mornings, or donkey kicks. Okay, up, oh, there we go. Into the next exercise. Pull my chair back here. Wish I could do it standing up, but my ceiling is just not tall enough. Oops, sorry, it's only a seven foot ceiling and I've got a bulkhead here at six feet. So I ended up punching my fist through that wonderful drywall that my contractor just recently put up. If anybody needs a good contractor, call me. Bob is fantastic and very reasonable. Remember, squeeze at the top. Brief pause. But if it's too much, not a problem. We're gonna just do delt raises or moderated, or not moderated, but adjusted delt raises where the lever isn't that long or we're gonna do external rotations. But remember at the end, stop and squeeze, okay? Stop and squeeze, same thing here. External rotations, stop and squeeze, stop and squeeze. Okay, we're almost there. Coming into the last exercise, the last set, folks, this is it. Okay, great, here we go. Reset the timer and pull down. Squeeze at the bottom this time, not the top. You really want to pull your elbows back, not forwards, but back, okay? Well, too much on the shoulders, not a problem. Arms up to the sides, then down. Squeeze it at the bottom. Well, not too much. Maybe your shoulders are hurting there. Not a problem. Just bring the elbows in like this. Shorten the lever. Okay? Squeeze good at the bottom. Keep those elbows back. Okay? It's like you're coming down and back. Down and back. Okay? I'm going to finish up top. Just for the last set. 10 seconds. Less than 10 seconds to go, folks. You've done great. Fantastic. Good work. Okay? Give yourself a pat on the back. Here we go. We're just about there. And there's the belt. Okie doke. Don't forget to put comments in the bottom. Let me know what you thought of the workout, okay? Was it varied enough? Um, were there enough exercise options to make it doable for you? Uh, did maybe none of those exercises work for you? Not a problem. There's millions of exercises. I have tons more that I can suggest. I'm just limited in my time and what I can present here, okay? But remember, you're competing against you. Watch for joint pain. Muscle pain's good, joint pain isn't, especially after the workout if your joints, like knees or shoulders, and to a lesser extent elbows and hips, but mainly knees and shoulders, if they start to really hurt, or they swell, and they feel worse versus your muscles, then we need to change something up. And you can always feel free to reach out to me one-on-one -on -one through Messenger, or just post on Facebook, and I will give you alternatives to do. And if you're struggling with pain, I'll also give you ways of managing that pain, okay? All right, so you got two workouts to do this week. Get to it. Let me know how they went. Remember, go at your own pace. And uh, yeah, one last thing. If you can't go the whole minute for each exercise, for each set, not a problem. Just do what you can. Take the recovery in between that you can, which means you can pause these videos at any time to take a rest, okay? I'm very big on working at your pace and not my pace, okay? So any questions, don't hesitate to ask, all right?